Hello you guys, what's up? I'm Danielle. I'm a student here at the University of Georgia and if you're watching this video, you probably one, got into the University of Georgia, so A, go dogs, congratulations, that's awesome. Two, you might be looking into it, maybe applying, about to come and tour. Or three, you're just curious and you're just curious and that's okay and that's awesome because the University of Georgia is the best place in the world in my very biased opinion. I just got this um, fun little Letterman bomber jacket. I literally got it off of eBay, but I'm pretty much obsessed with it and I'm gonna wear it a ton post-grad because Oh, it's just such a good school. I mean, come on, the colors, red and black, like what grade school colors, I'm just saying. Anyways, I've been wanting to do this video for about four years now and we're getting to it now, it's okay. I'm a senior here at the University of Georgia. I'm from Tampa, Florida, so I'm an out-of-state student. I have an interesting perspective, I feel like, in that regard. And I just thought it'd be really fun to do a video kind of all about UGA. I've got a breakdown on my phone here that I wrote down, you know, dorms, apartments, social life, partying, downtown. It's hard to get a feel for the school before you actually go. And I hope this video will maybe give you a little bit more info about it from a student's perspective so you can kind of give an get an idea. I love UGA so much. I'm so happy this was like the number one school I wanted to go to and I cannot believe I got accepted. It was the craziest thing and I'm just so proud. I know a lot of people just got accepted last week or the week before. So congratulations to all the new dogs. It's like UGA like 25 now or something and I'm like, whoa, I'm UGA class of 2021, literally about to graduate, but I wanted to get this video when stuff was on fresh on my mind before I graduate and just forget about everything. Ooh. One thing I love about UGA is like, I feel like you, once you're a dog, you're always a dog. And that's how it is for a lot of schools, but I just know I'm gonna be flying back for, you know, football games and everything like that. And I, I mean, who knows, maybe my kids will go here one day, but um, I just can't wait to continue to come to football games. And now every time it's on TV, I'm gonna be truly rooting for the Georgia dogs. So. I don't know, I think that's a really cool thing. It's a great feeling, it's a great community here. But yeah, just a little background on me. Like I said, I'm a senior here at UJ. I'm from Florida, so I came out of state. I actually didn't even apply to any schools in Florida. I knew I wanted to leave Florida personally. I wanted seasons, and here in Athens, you get all the seasons. You get a very hot summer, um, then you get a beautiful fall, like the perfect fall that you're thinking of, that's it here. The leaves change, which I had never really seen before, um, and it's so beautiful, the fall, the football, everything like that. And then you do get a winter, and you do get freezing cold, and then it gets hot again, and you can go to the pool and stuff. It's, it's perfect, it's what I wanted exactly. Another reason I chose UGA was because of the downtown around it. I knew I wanted like a college town obviously, but I wanted something a little bit more if I wanted to just kind of go be my independent self and I don't know, I just wanted a downtown area and they definitely have that. They have downtown Athens. There's a ton of music venues here. There's the Georgia Theater, which normally they have concerts at. So many boutiques, so many stores. And I'll get more into that later, but there was just a really well-rounded situation for UGA, which was really important to me. And it's about an hour and a half from Atlanta, so if you need to fly anywhere, or if you just wanna to go to Atlanta for the day, people do that. Um, so yeah, I felt close enough to a big city where I didn't feel like too far away, you know? And I'm about like an eight hour drive back home. So it was kind of perfect for me, really. Started out as an intended business major and then later on decided to switch to a fashion merchandising major. So that's what I currently am and I love it. It's the best decision I ever made. The program's really great here. It's a little bit smaller, which I love. Um, and yeah, I'll get a little bit more into like what dorm I lived in and everything. That's kind of my little summary, if you will. Um, I did partake in Greek life. Um, some people choose to, some people not. You don't have to. It's such a small percentage of the population here at UGA, um, but that's something I did decide to do, and if you're thinking about it, definitely do it. It's so much fun. And yeah, without further ado, I thought we'd get started with living in dorms, especially because I feel like a lot of people that are watching this probably just got in or are thinking about going and you want to hear about the dorm situation, so we're going to break it down. I lived in Hill Hall, and me and my hallmates, we became really, really close, and we like made a little song. It was Hill Hall, the female dorm, Hill Hall, the female dorm. Because I personally didn't know this, it was all girls, which ended up being amazing. Um, Hill Hall is not necessarily one of the most popular or coveted dorms. I'm just saying if you do end up in Hill Hall, there are some amazing benefits to it. It's closest to campus. Like literally you look out and you see Bolton Dining Hall, which is like the biggest dining hall. And then you look at um, Tate Student Center and the MLC, which is like the big building with like a lot of classrooms. You're just like in the main center of campus, right near the stadium. It's so close to everything. There's four floors in Hill Hall and that's part of the Church Hill Boggs community. So if you're in Church Hill or 
uh, box. I think those are all the same layout. So you get, it's like a little bit bigger of a room, which is really nice. Most people still do loft their beds. My roommate lofted hers and I didn't. <laughs> um, and then we get our own desks and pretty decently sized closets. I mean, not ginormous, but you know. And then the bonus is you get a sink in your room, which most dorms don't have at UGA. So it was really nice because we were at the, all the way at the opposite end of the bathroom. So if we just had to brush our teeth or you know wash our face, whatever, we could do that in our dorm room, which was really, really nice. Um, the popular dorms are, and this is something I didn't know when I was requesting dorm so I didn't really know what to do and a lot of times you'll request your top one and you might not always get it um, so that's how it happened for me but it all happens for a reason you know but the popular dorms that people always want to tend to be Creswell Hall, Russell Hall and Brumby. Russell Hall is the newest it's like completely redone it's beautiful the dorm the rooms are still very very small it's just everything is literally brand new they like completely rebuilt in the last two years. Those three are the high rises they call them. So they think they have like seven or eight floors each with tons of dorms. Those are co-ed. I think they have like girl like halls, not girl floors. But I, I don't really know. It was so confusing. I know Delaney, my roommate now, she lived in Crestwell freshman year and I visited her a lot. And it was fun because anytime you were there, like you saw someone you knew most likely and there was always something going on, which was really cool. But also Cresswell, I could walk to Cresswell from my dorm. So, um, but yeah, Russell, Cresswell and Brumby. Brumby's a little bit further than Cresswell and Russell in my opinion, um, but they call it the Brumby butt because Brumby's like up this hill. So you're like getting a good booty workout as you're walking up. It, yeah. Also there's East Campus Village, which is a little bit further from most of the classrooms, especially like freshman year. It depends on what you end up majoring in because there's you know, um, like the chemistry building and the biological sciences building. There's so many different schools. If your major is business advertising, some of those, you're gonna wanna be more in the main area, which is, you know, Cresswell, Brumby, Hill, um, Russell. But East Campus Village is really cool. I didn't venture over there much, but when I did, it's very, very nice. So if you do end up living in East Campus Village, they're suite style, if I remember. So you have like a living room, a kitchen, and then your bedroom is with your roommate still. Like you have bunk beds, but then you have your own bathroom. And then you live with like another group of roommates and you guys share the common area and a kitchen. It's huge, it was really cool. I visited my friends freshman year and I was like, wow. But those are definitely a lot further. The bus system's great. I'm gonna get into that more later, but um, those are really great. And those are near the gym. So if you know you're gonna wanna be using the UGA gym, it's really, really nice. I'm personally really, um, intimidated by it <laughs> but I believe it's near there so you'd be able to walk to the gym whereas like from Hill I had to take the bus or like drive my own car but the parking's kind of wonky if you want to be near the gym definitely ECCV is for you a lot of the athletes live over there um, and then also there's a really cool dining hall I think it's called Joe Frank Harris dining hall it's the ECV dining hall and I'm pretty sure they always had like healthier options and some other cool foods. Each dining hall kind of has its own vibe. I mean they all have like the basics but then some of them have special things which are really cool that I'll get into. But yeah those are kind of the breakdown. Overall this is totally general but freshmen usually live in the dorms. Freshman year obviously. Sophomore if you choose to partake in Greek life that's when you live in the sorority house, fraternity house, whatever. I personally decided to forego that because I have a YouTube channel. I film videos all the time. I have a podcast. Like it just did not make sense. But I could go over there all the time and visit and hang out. And it was so much fun. And then sophomore, junior year, people usually live into, move into apartments. And then people either decide to stay in those apartments senior year. Or a lot of people will get um, like five girl, five guy houses. Um, and there's a ton of really beautiful houses off of Millage. Um, which is the sorority and fraternity row, as you would say. And then there's some other house, there, there's houses everywhere really. And they're all, most of the real estate here is for college students. So they're like, you know, they're catered towards you. And a lot of people do pass downs where, you know, you might have five girlfriends that are in the grade above you and you can kind of like work out a situation with them where you end up renting from them or you end up getting the house the next year or whatever. One thing that stinks though, and I don't know if this is the case at other schools, but it's definitely here. like. Freshman year, you had to know where you were living by November, December, which is crazy because you don't even have like your friends yet. You're like still trying to figure everything out. I ended up living alone sophomore year by choice, not that whatever, but I was really excited to do that. But I had to like get on that ASAP because things book up so fast for the next year. It's crazy. So definitely keep that into account. I know this all sounds wild, but I'm just giving you guys a heads up because I wish someone would have told me that. 
As for apartments, like I was saying, there are so many student apartments around Athens. Um, Athens, Georgia is where UGA is located. I don't know if I said that, but there are apartments everywhere. They're not like run by the university, but a lot of these are for students. Like you can tell it's like college vibes. So there's two to four apartment complexes in downtown Athens, which I personally recommend because they're usually a little bit more expensive, but the money that you spend a little bit extra, I find are, is the money that you're not spending on Ubers to get places gas and all of your friends usually want to come to your apartment because then maybe you'll go downtown after and you can just walk you can literally walk everywhere you i walk to my classes there's a bus stop if you have classes further away living downtown is the, the way to go if you can afford it obviously um and there's a lot of really cool so there's obviously like high-rise apartment buildings in downtown that you know you have a mail room you've got your own apartment there's a gym a pool at a lot of them and then there's also really cool loft apartments um, all throughout downtown, like above the stores. Those are so sick too. So there's some really cool options and it's so easy to look up. And like I said, there's a lot of people do houses as well. So as for dining halls, this is mainly freshman year. Freshman year, I had unlimited all year. And then sophomore year, the first semester, I got like a certain amount of swipes that I could use. Bolton was my favorite. Also, it was because it was the most convenient for me. I literally had to walk across the parking lot to get to Bolton. It was so dangerous. Bolton's the biggest one. I'd say there's two floors. It's huge, so many tables. There's obviously, you know, coffee. There's breakfast in the morning. The breakfast potatoes are so good. There's a waffle bar and they have like a little UGA, like a Georgia logo on it. It's really cool. There's like a little diner area that has, you know, burgers, tater tots. They make, make grilled cheese. There's a subway, not a subway. There's not a subway. There's a sandwich, like sub area. There's um, I believe there's pizza. There's like a taco area. Make your own tacos. Pasta bar I frequented. Um, it's huge. It's awesome. O House, Oglethorpe House has good hibachi. You like get in line and you get, you know, your noodles. You pick your vegetables, put it all in a bowl. You choose the sauce and you choose your meat and then you give your bowl to them and they like cook it in front of you and add whatever you want and it's really, really cool and yummy. And they also at O House have, um, really good chips and queso and like a burrito bar. I know I'm forgetting stuff because I haven't been in so long, but those are like really important. The niche, I've literally only been to once and I wish I went more because obviously it's on your you know meal plan. There's probably a bus that goes there, but we just drove because we went once and it's literally a restaurant. You order what you want. They have like so many, so many things. I can't even tell you all, but like gourmet lunch foods and it's only open for a certain amount of time in the day, but it is so good. And then like I said, East Campus Village has a dining hall as well, but I've never been, which is so bad. But I think it has some healthier options than other normal stuff. All right, as for the campus, which is what sold me, walking around campus is absolutely gorgeous. Everyone's just on campus. You can tell they're just happy to be there. The vibe is so, so good. Everyone's just so happy. For study spots, everyone's kind of, you figure out what is right for you. Some people like completely quiet. Some people like, you know, a little bit more sound. That's kind of how I am. The MLC, the Miller Learning Center, is um, this huge building. There's a lot of classrooms in there. Freshman year, you'll tend to have a lot of classes there. They're like kind of the bigger lecture halls. And then um, as you go up in the floors, it gets quieter, they say, and there's so many study rooms. Sometimes it's like prime real estate to finally like secure a study room but those are really, really nice. There's a Jittery Joe's coffee in there as well. Um, but yeah, like the highest floor is the most quiet. Um, there's a ton of tables as well, like big tables that you can share with other people. And then there's like, all, like I said, all those study rooms as well. So I'll meet with like my groups there. Um, and yeah, it's a good time. My personal favorite is Tate Student Center because um, there's a Starbucks in there. It's a little bit more pop-in. That's where a lot of like clubs will like do their tables out so you can like get to know the clubs and organizations. Um, there's Bulldog Cafe there, which has Chick-fil-A, Panda Express, like a pizza place, and Barbaritos, and Tate Market, which has like fresh sushi, and like you can buy like kombucha, and like a muffin, like a little just like market area you can like buy stuff from. So they have a lot there, which I like to go study there, because like if I study for, you know, six, seven hours, I want to be able to have food and drink near me that I can get. There's great bathrooms, and I always see my friends around there. So it's really nice if you're studying and people are walking through, you know, maybe they're on their way to class, they can stop by and say hi to you. There's so many tables and chairs. Um, so yeah, I love Tate Student Center. And then also the main library, 
I studied there twice my whole time here because it's so quiet, but a lot of people love the library. There's also the science library, the sci li So if you're a science major, perhaps that might be for you. Um, it really, it's kind of just figuring out what feels right for you, but there are so many options. More off campus, they just came out with this and I think they're gonna keep it. It was like a six month pilot thing, but they had people walking around the other day when I was there asking if we like it and I think they're gonna keep it. So they basically closed off a road kind of like how they would in New York City or something and it's called College Square. It's right in downtown on College Avenue and there's a ton of tables, umbrellas, and on beautiful days, people will go and study there. It's just like nice because there's a ton of restaurants in downtown that you can get to go from. So like if one friend wants Chick-fil-A and the other friend wants Barbarito, so you can like go and you can study there and you can get your food and sit at these picnic tables. And it's like, I don't know, there's probably like 20 tables all together and people are always coming and going and sometimes they have live music. People, you know, street performers will be there and you can do your work and it's such good vibes. Also, it's this sounds so college and so cliche, but people actually do it and that's why I love this place, is there's North Campus, which you can literally see from downtown. It's right by the arch, the famous arch that you see in a lot of the photos. Ton of grass for days and people will bring blankets and do work out there because you can connect the university Wi-Fi there. Um, yeah, you'll see people literally passing the football. You'll see me do that, doing that sometimes. People bring their dogs, people just chill out there with friends, maybe they'll eat lunch there. Or like I said, some of my friends and I will just go and put out a blanket and do our work. I said I was gonna talk about the buses. So the bus system is actually pretty good here at UGA once you get the hang of it. I wish I like tried to use it a little bit earlier in my time here because it helped me so, so much. I mean, I highly recommend walking as much as you can because it is such a good workout to walk to classes because UGA in Athens in general is very hilly, which is annoying, but it is such a good workout and it's just so good for you to just get outside and sweat a little bit. From like August to end of like September, I'm wearing like a tank top and shorts. Like it is so hot here, but it's such a good workout. But then sometimes you need the bus if it's raining, if it's just too far, and there's so many bus routes. You just look at the bus route, you look at where you're going, it shows you, you know, the nearest bus stop and you can just figure it out from there. It's really easy and sometimes you see friends on the bus or you meet friends on the bus and the bus drivers are all really nice. I love the bus system. As for academics, I kind of touched on this earlier. There are so many different schools for all of your different desires and you'll meet with your advisor, I believe during orientation, but um, there's Terry School of Business, Grady School of Advertising. I'm a fashion merchandising major with an emphasis in brand management. So I'm in the College of Family and Consumer Sciences. And it's okay to change your major. So many people here do. Um, and depending on your credits, I do want to say, here at UGA, your first year and a half, depending on how many credits you're coming into college with, you're probably going to take a lot of core credits. There's some UGA requirements. Freshman year, I had to take like a Odyssey class, which was fun. I did like a theater class for a semester. So that was really, really fun. And you get to know people. Um, if you don't come up with English credits, you have to take two years of English, depending on how many credits you have. You don't usually take classes for your exact major until end of sophomore year, early junior year. Um, that was at least my experience, a lot of my friends' experience, but that's very normal. Um, but that's just something to definitely take into mind. As for classroom size, a lot of people ask this. Your first year, depending on your major, but most likely you're gonna have a lot of big lecture hall classes. And it sounds intimidating, but professors really try to make it possible where there are office hours and you can go talk to them after class. Like after class sometimes there'd be a line of, you know, five, six, seven people like waiting to talk to the press professor. And most of the time, unless they're in a rush, they'll stay there and wait and talk to you. So they're not scary, they don't bite. And I always just like a student, like the first few days of class, I get someone's number near me or I'll look on the class list online and I'll see if there's anyone I know and I'll text them and be like, you're my class buddy for this because it's so important to have that one like person that's a point of contact. That's a really good way to make the class smaller. Then as you get into major and as you get older, your classes do get smaller, which is nice. Um, class registration is always um, a little stressful, I can't lie but definitely make sure to meet with your advisor. You can't even sign up for classes each semester until you meet with your advisor and they tell you what classes you need, what they suggest you take that semester. And then yeah, but sometimes it sucks because a class will literally fill up and you have to take it the next semester and switch around your schedule. It's a whole thing, but just make sure to be on top of it and read all the emails is all I have to say. So that's the only thing, it's a big school. I think there's like 27,000 undergrad and there's so many pros to a big school, but with that comes, you know, it, it's a lot of time management on your own for sure. This is just a couple tips for freshmen. Go to orientation. Oh my God, I literally thrive during orientation. Keep in mind, I'm definitely that like theater geek at heart. Like I love stuff like that. 
But the orientation leaders are low-key celebrities here and you know after you meet your orientation leader over the summer You'll see them on campus in the fall and everyone's like upset like I you like idolize them You get put in an orientation group your parents come to some of the stuff if you choose and you just like get in this group And it's a weekend and it's fun and it's a great way to get to know stuff and they give you so much info I don't think orientation is technically required, but just go it's so much fun now for what you've all been waiting for Probably is the social life and partying. So I'm out of state like I said I'd say UGA is definitely mainly in state. I feel like everyone's from like right outside of Atlanta or there's like obviously Southern Georgia, Northern Georgia, everyone's from everywhere in Georgia, but a lot of people are from right outside of Atlanta. I swear, it's so funny. But also there are a lot of out of state students and a lot more and more each year I'd say, and there's international students as well. If that's something that's really important to you where you wanna be at a place where you might know a lot of people or know people from high school and you're out of state, I wouldn't say UGA is the place for you go to an in-state college. If you are from Georgia and you want that, go to UGA. You'll definitely get that vibe and you'll see people that you haven't seen in years. That's my experience from like watching my friends have that happen. But also a good amount of people from my high school and from Tampa in general are here at UGA and I see them a lot, which is really cool. When there aren't things going on on the weekends, like in the fall when there is like an away football game or it's a bye week, we like revolve around football around here. People go home. Like I know there were weekends where all my friends were going home for, you know, like, Easter or something of the sorts and that was just something that wasn't feasible for me People would go home like on Labor Day or just these random days that they just could or they would just go home on a Friday night and Come back Sunday just because they wanted to like have a home cooked meal or do laundry and you know a lot of times Like my friends would invite me to go home with them or whatever. Just keep that in mind. That's definitely something um, So it is nice to kind of have that balance of friends that like to go home a lot or maybe some friends that are also from out of state. As I hinted at earlier, football is huge here. Go to the games if you have an ounce of interest in football because they are so much fun. I mean, the, it's, it's a production. Like, I mean, there's the cheerleaders, there's the Georgettes, there's the baton twirlers, there's the football team, obviously. They have so many cool graphics that go up on the Jumbotron. They play music after like every play and you can get down, you can jam. Freshman year, you usually, once you request, you have to request your tickets, you'll get an email about it, but you usually get all the tickets to all the games, and I totally abused that freshman year. I traveled for YouTube stuff, completely like irrelevant to most people, but I wish, because then sophomore year, I only got like four games. Last year, I only got four games. This year is COVID, so you know, it kind of stinks. But freshman year, you usually get priority and you get like all the games, which is so nice. And then I think senior year, I would have gotten all the games, but. Here we are. Go to the games. The student section is lit. I can't even, that's the only way I can explain it. Everyone wears their red and black. The game day outfits are there. It's so much fun. There's tailgates galore. Frats have part, like it is so much fun. It's definitely a little overwhelming at first. I definitely got anxious at times, but the more and more you get yourself into it, it's so much fun. And if that's your vibe, like UJ is so for you. Holy crap, it's so much fun. Um, it's definitely a party school. I am not gonna sugarcoat it, it's definitely a party school. However, there are people that don't party here, if that makes sense. Like, there are a lot of, I don't even wanna say party. Since there's such a big downtown, I'm pretty sure there's like 80 bars here in downtown Athens, which is crazy to think about. What everyone did, freshman year, we went to a lot of like fraternity stuff. That was like in my friend circle, obviously. Um, if you're not in Greek life, there's like other parties, other like friend groups, like people just have parties, people like hang out in the dorms, if your RA is not super strict. Um, and then you also do go downtown a lot and then sophomore and then junior and senior year especially you pretty much just only go downtown you don't really go to the fraternity houses or any of those places but yeah it's definitely a big downtown school which means there is a lot of partying if you will drinking um, but I've never once felt under pressure I never felt peer pressured um, there were times I felt like, oh, I should go out because like my friends are because I want to make more friends, but it was never, no one ever made me feel like less than for not wanting to drink. Everyone just wants to have a good time here, honestly. And that's what I love about it. Like so many people will like grind all day and study and then literally go out at like 11, you know, and just get after it because they just worked hard all day. So it's a really cool balance, I guess you could say, but there's always something going on. So I wouldn't feel pressured to like go to something. That's something that I put on myself a lot and then I realized, you know, just go out when you know you're gonna wanna go because then you just have so much more fun. Um, as for the breakdown, I remember I was trying to learn this freshman year. Tuesdays are semi kind of like a going out night. They call it T-shirt Tuesday. It's a little bit more casual dressing and you'll just like go out and you know, if you don't have much on Wednesday, a lot of people will go out and it's like a pretty big night. The biggest night of all nights, 
I think at a lot of schools is Thursdays. Thursday nights here are so much fun. And I don't know why it's not Fridays because then it's like sometimes like I remember at 8 a.m. on Fridays like when I was younger and it just literally sucked so bad. But that's college for you, baby. Um, <laughs> and yeah, Thursday nights are the biggest night. So when you're planning your schedule, try not to get an early morning Friday class because you'll regret it, you'll regret it. And I regretted it hard. And then Saturdays during the fall game day, like the games are either in the day or at night. It's an all day thing, like reserve Saturdays. Saturdays are so fun. So that's kind of like the breakdown, but people literally, some people literally go out every night. I was never that vibe. I'm kind of in the middle, I'd say. You can totally find that balance. There's people that literally just go out once a night. There's people that don't go out at all. Like there are so many options. I'm just kind of giving you my experience, I guess. And then the last topic I kind of wanted to talk about was downtown. So like I said, there are tons of bars here. There are different bars for different grades. I'd say it sounds kind of weird. It's just kind of like this known thing, but those change all the time. And that's just kind of year by year and like your friend group and what you guys want to do. But you don't like get, you know, looked at weird if you walk into a bar that's not your age group. Like, it's not like that at all. I'm just kind of giving you, I'm just trying to give you guys all the info I, I wish I had. <laughs> um, but then my favorites have always been and always will be the bar, I call them like the bar restaurant hybrids. Um, so these are the places that if you wanna like, like a lot of people do their birthdays here, if you wanna like get dinner, but like also like have really nice drinks and just like have like a more, elevated going out experience, these are the places for you. My favorite place of all time is Polly's. I literally took grad photos there. I Polly's is my place. It's called Polly's Crepe Bar. They have amazing crepes, obviously. They have sandwiches, they have quesadillas, they have great salads, um, just like lots of good food, obviously. Then the drinks, so good. My go-to drink is the Manmosa. It's um, a mimosa, so it's orange juice and uh, champagne. And they add vodka in it, which makes it the Manmosa. It's so good, it's like my go-to game day drink. Oh my gosh, I like really miss game days. <laughs> have, you know, martinis, they have wine, obviously, they have so many beers, if that's your thing. They have so many really cool drinks, and it's just like, you get them in like a glass cup, not the little plastic with the straw. It's like a nice experience, um, and at night it kind of turns into more of like a bar situation. Well, not right now, but like, you know what I mean, normally. Um, Clark's is another one, it's kind of like Polly's. They have burgers, they have like chicken sandwiches, they have really good curly fries, and they have really good drinks. I um, they have one that's called Don't Kill My Vibe that all my friends love and I love too. It's like strawberry juice, vodka, and like lemonade or something. It's really good. But it's also just kind of like a chill hangout vibe where you're not like squished in a bar, you get like a table is what I'm trying to say. These are like places where you sit at a table. High Bar also just opened in the last few years. It's at the Hyatt Hotel. It's a rooftop bar, but it is so nice. And at sunset, it's beautiful. During the winter, it's like closed and really, really cold. But during the fall and spring and summer, oh, it's so much fun. Restaurants, there are so many restaurants, but people always ask me for recs and maybe you're like coming to Athens to tour or whatever. The restaurants, um, these are some of my recommendations. Chuck's Fish, it's newer. They have really good cocktails as well, but they have sushi, they have seafood, and they also just have really good entrees. Like I've gotten like pasta there before. They have so many different things. That's a little bit nicer. Starland is a pizza place here in downtown. It's so good, it's a really popular place and it's become, it's so good, it's a really popular place and on Sundays they do bottomless mimosas. Um, Amici, it's like Italian with like sandwiches and pizza, so yummy. Toxunami is another one of my favorites. They have, um, you know, everything from, you know, tacos to like teriyaki bowls. They have kind of like a fusion. And then Mellow Mushroom, I know a lot of you guys have Mellow Mushrooms near you, but that's a big place here as well. That's just a couple that I just wanted to, oh, and De Palma's, but that's not like a hangout spot for people. De Palma's, if you want good Italian, like yes. Also La, or also Osteria Athena is a great Italian place, but they're kind of nicer and it's more of like a family vibe. Um, so yeah, and also oh, Last Resort. That's a big one that people take their parents to. Um, they have, you know, steak, they have chicken, like, you know, like entrees. Um, and then I think I mentioned this earlier, but there's obviously a Starbucks in downtown Athens. There's a Chick-fil-A, there's a Burberitos, which is like burrito bowls, kind of like a Chipotle. Yeah, there's just like some quicker food places, obviously. And then there are so many stores. Like the shopping here is unreal. There's not like a nice mall nearby. And I remember being like kind of bummed about that at first because the mall in Tampa is just so nice. So I was just hoping for a good mall, but you do not need it. There's a huge Urban Outfitters here actually, randomly enough. Indigo Child has really cute stuff, very 
Revolve vibes, a little bit on the pricier side, but they do have some less expensive things. Indigo Home, which is right next door. Super cute home decor for your dorm, apartment, house. Pattaya, I call it the Forever 21 of Athens. Super inexpensive, cheap clothes, but cute if that's your vibe. Cheeky Peach, Fringe, um, Threads, Fabrique, Fabric, I never know how to say it. Um, I know I'm missing a few, but those are like some of the big ones that people go to. And um, if you need like a quick game day outfit or if you need a dress for like a date night event, um, there, there's so many things. I really hope I hit all the spots. If you guys have any questions, obviously leave them down below. These are just the things I thought of and the things that I would have wanted to know if I was coming to Georgia. So yeah, congrats once again if you just got in or you're transferring or just or whatever it is or if you wanna apply, I'm so excited for you. I'm here to help in any way. Once a dog, always a dog. Literally, go dogs, dogs or die. I love you all so much. Good luck with your endeavors. I can't believe I'm about to graduate, so if you, just soak it up, obviously. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Subscribe if you're new here, by the way. Okay, bye guys.